Hi folks, today I want to talk about a very, very common problem with EPA-10 Detroit SCR systems. That problem is low DEF pressure. Now it'll show up as fault SPN4334 FMI7 and of course like most ACM faults it'll put up EEC61 on the dash of your Cascadia. Now 9 times out of 10 this problem can be traced back to one common cause. But as always, I would recommend following Detroit Diesel's troubleshooting steps to track down the problem. There's a long list of problems that can cause this fault, and this just happens to be a common one that I see often. The issue is with the pneumatic switching valve in the DEF pump. It's not so much an issue with the valve itself as it is an issue with the air supply that feeds the valve. Before the valve, there's a tiny screen inside the pump. It's there to catch any dirt or debris that comes down the airline to the valve. The problem is, oil also comes down this airline and plugs up this screen. The purpose of the pneumatic switching valve is to block off the DEF return line to the tank. This allows the pump to build pressure in the system. When the valve isn't getting full pressure, like when it's blocked by a dirty screen, it opens and it allows DEF to return back to the tank and lowers the overall pressure in the system. The DEF pressure sensor picks this up and sets a fault code. Now I'm going to show you how to inspect the switching valve for contamination, how to clean it out and even replace it if it needs it. First we have the DEF pump. It's usually mounted on the back of the DEF tank. It's covered by this shield. Four bolts will remove it. Here it is with the shield removed you can see the airline feeding the switching valve in the upper right hand corner. Here's a close up of it. This is a shot with the airline removed and the 90 degree fitting. You can already see the oil starting to dribble out of it. This is the 90 degree fitting that was in the pump. You can see there's plenty of oil coming out of it. This is the fitting that was in the pump. The screen that protects the pneumatic switching valve is inside this fitting. You can see here there's a screwdriver inside of it. Just a standard blade screwdriver can spin it out of that fitting. Here's the screen removed from the fitting and you can see it's soaked in oil. With all the fittings removed, this is the pneumatic switching valve that you're looking at right now. Now to remove the valve from the pump housing, just thread an M5 bolt or a screw into the switching valve and give it a pull. Now, when you pull it out, some DEF is going to spill out, so if you are replacing the valve, it's probably best to have your new one ready to go in when you pull it out, just to avoid making a mess. And make sure you have no open electrical connections anywhere near where you're going to have DEF, because DEF is very corrosive. Here you have your new filter screen sitting next to the old oil-soaked one, and you can really see the difference. Now, a lot of people think that the oil in the airlines and in the valve is coming from the, a bad compressor or something like that, but that's not the case. The, you can see for yourself, the oil is not black like engine oil. This is the culprit. This is the air pressure limiting unit. It supplies air to the DEF system. Inside that valve is a grease to keep the valve moving freely, but with high heat from regenerations and things like that this grease starts to melt and turn to like an oil and then it gets passed through the airlines now these valves do fail and they do need to be replaced from time to time but if the only thing the only trouble it's giving you is that it's passing oil through the airlines there's really no point in replacing it because the new valve is going to come with this same grease in it and it's going to do the same thing it's best to just clean all the airlines out. What I tend to do is disconnect all the airlines and spray a very small amount of brake clean into them and then blow them all out with compressed air. All of the fittings, all of the airlines should all be cleaned out with compressed air to get the residual oil out of them. The single airline with the 90 degree fitting is where the valve is supplied with air from your secondary air supply and the T fitting goes out to supply the pneumatic switching valve and also your metering unit with air. The metering unit can also have some of this oil built up in it so if you're finding a lot of it in the switching valve it's probably not a bad idea to check out the metering unit as well. Now here we have some charted information from Detroit Diagnostic Link. 
This is during an SCR air pressure test. The top line shows that we have good DEF air pressure being read from the air pressure sensor in the metering unit. The middle line on the graph shows that we don't have enough DEF pressure. It never reaches the proper level. And the bottom line on the graph shows that the DEF pump is running constantly to try build pressure. The pump sh typically should run for a second or two and then shut off because it reaches pressure. This is another chart. It's the same test from the same truck after we cleaned out and replaced the pneumatic switching valve. You see the uh, pump only runs briefly, it builds pressure fast, and then it shuts off and the pressure holds in the system because the valve isn't leaking by. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe for more of them and uh, thanks for watching.